This is the first year locker area, as it currently is. So you've got two bathrooms there, one girls, one boys. Um, now this might look a little bit different um, in September. We're not sure yet. So I'll just show you it as it currently is. So you can see there are two different types of lockers here. You've got one that has a code and one that has a key. So you'll get one or the other, basically. Those are the two, the two that we have. With the code locker, the code is only for you. Nobody else has that code um, apart from the deputy principal. So the code is changed every year. So you don't need to be worried at all about anyone else knowing the code to your locker. So in the locker area, you will come here at the start of each day before class and you'll get your books for the first three classes. Then at 11 o'clock break, you will come back here. You'll get your books for the next three classes and you'll put back the books that you've used. You'll come back again at lunchtime at 1.15 and you will get your books for the last few classes. And then usually at the end of the day, you'll come back again and you'll make sure that you have all the books that you need for your homework. So that's the locker area. This is our art room. So if you choose to do art in first year, this is where you'll be doing all of your art classes. So you can see there's some really cool um, projects and stuff on the walls and then you've got tables and stools for doing your work. So all different categories of art like you put them up on the wall, painting, advertising, graphic design etc. So there's some really really cool stuff here. And that is the art room. This is our home ec room. So you can see you've got your ovens, microwave and then down the back you've got uh, washing machines, chopping boards, loads of other equipment um, which your teachers will show you how to use safely when you arrive. This is one of our science labs so you can see that each desk is equipped with a sink and a gas tap and you've got your benches and your stools and down the back you have all of your presses with um, all of your scientific and experimental equipment that your teachers will show you how to use safely when you start. So this is the materials technology uh, woodwork room. So you can see lots of different projects around. So if you were choosing wood, this is where you would be working. So you can see some very cool projects here. So these are done by older students and all of the equipment in here you will be taught how to use safely by your teachers if you choose the subject. This is one of our English classrooms so you can see posters up on the wall which can help you with your work and some student work on the walls as well some lovely posters and you'll also see that all of the chairs are up on top of the desks so at the end of every school day here in every classroom the teachers ask you to put your chairs on the desks so that the floors can be cleaned more easily. So this is the back of the school and you can see the astro pitch down there, which we'll pop down to now. So this is where you would hang out probably at lunchtime and maybe play some basketball, play some football, or just enjoy the sunshine. This is what we call the round room and you're gonna become pretty familiar with this over your time in St. Paul's because this is generally where you'll come if you're having something like a talk or an assembly for your year group or a class, this is where you'll be called to. And it's called the round room because it's pretty round. So over there, down there actually, we've got the PE hall. So I'll show you that now shortly. And then over there, you can see one of the trophy cabinets that we have 
containing various different trophies and awards from over the years that people and teams in the school have won for lots of different extracurricular activities. So well worth participating in sport or whatever extracurricular activity it might be. Um, and hopefully one day you'll have your own trophy in there. This is our PE hub. So you can see on the right hand side, those are table tennis boards, um, just covered up for the time being. So as I said, it's the PE hall, so you might be doing some of your indoor PE lessons in here. Um, if you were doing, if it was maybe a rainy day or if you were doing a particular um, indoor sport, this is where you will be. So a lot of your PE will take place outside um, in the course and in the Astro as well, where I was showing you. So once you walk in through the front gate, on the left hand side, you will see a sign that says reception. So if ever you are late for school and you need to sign in, or if you are being collected by a parent or a guardian and you're going home, you go up those stairs through that door and you can talk to Maura and uh, you can sign out or sign in. Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that short little video um, and that it maybe made you feel a small bit less anxious about starting school with us in St. Paul's at the start of the next school year. My name is Miss Harren and I teach French and I also teach English and SPHE and I'm the wellbeing coordinator in St. Paul's as well. So what I would like you all to do over the summer is to relax. I know that some of you are probably still a little bit worried and you might have questions about certain things relating to secondary school. Don't worry about it. Uh, when we get to the first day of school, you'll have an assembly, you will meet your teachers, you'll meet the principal, you'll meet the deputy principal and your year head and me. So you'll recognise my face hopefully. And any questions that you have, um, we can answer for you on the first day. We'll go through the timetable, we'll go through lockers, we'll show you around so that you'll have an idea of where you're going. And also the first week of school, um, your, you will be brought to all of your classes so you don't need to worry about getting lost or anything like that. Um, so in the meantime I wish you all a safe, healthy and happy summer and we very much look forward to meeting you all. <laughs>